What's going on everybody? It's Eric Ray with the back here and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you the best and easiest offense to run in Madden 20 If you get this offense down you will win the far majority of your games online because most average online players Simply just don't know how to defend this formation But really quickly before we get into that I have to shout out to my guy Espo doodles over on Instagram A lot of you guys have been asking where did I get my artwork done for the channel? He actually did it for me recently and he also reached out and said that he will be doing a giveaway to do a free drawing for one of you guys So all you have to do is go to his Instagram uh, follow the account and then comment under his latest post which should be about me and he'll pick one winner to do some custom artwork for so I thought that was really cool guy does some really good work so if you're interested in that definitely go over there and check him out now what we want to look at today is the iPhone close I'm sure most of you have seen this by now online it is very popular uh, it's something I've been running since the first day of the game just because it was very very clear just how good the stretch run was out of this and it's the best run in the game so it's really easy to build an offense around a run that's so powerful now what you want to do is you want to set your audibles up uh, with certain plays so that you have access to all of them when you're on the field So when you open up the I form close formation in game at the beginning of the game You want to set your audibles by pressing the L T button or the L2 button depending on which system you're on You're gonna want to take the halfback lead dive You're gonna want to swap that out for the halfback ISO because the ISO is just a little bit better You want to take out the play stutter goes and you want to put the uh, Out and up and then you want to take PA deep cross out and you want to put the PA tight end leak and then you're going to always want to actually come out in the stretch play because that's going to be your bread and butter of this formation. That's the run you make them respect. If they don't, if they can't stop it, then you just don't stop running. And a lot of people just don't have run defense for this. I actually did post run defense on the channel uh, already, but you know a lot of people online just don't have run defense for this. So I mean, it's the best run in the game. It's very consistent at getting to the outside, at making people miss. Uh, sometimes you can cut it back up the B gap, just depending on like what what the uh, you know the defense is looking like. Now right here. You see, for example, this would be a good example of when I would want to audible to the halfback ISO because the insides just, I mean, I could probably still run the stretch on this, but when the insides is that open, if it looks like a guaranteed four to five yards up the middle, you have to take it. Now, sometimes the defense will get crazy and just like, or the offensive line will just whiff and not block somebody. But when you see an opening like that, you have to take it every single time and try to go up the middle. And you see there, we got about 11 yards and I actually cut it back to the left. I actually want to just go to the replay really quickly to show you because it's little things like this that you know sometimes you don't you don't recognize but little things like this make a big difference so this is supposed to be an iso to the right i'm supposed to be going to the right of the center but what i see immediately is that you see that linebacker to the right right now no one's blocking him now yes number 74 did eventually get to him but you know there's a lot of times where you might try to go that way and that linebacker that lineman doesn't get him the linebacker just comes down and gets a free run at you and you don't get any yards so i see this and i just i just go left i go behind number 88 which is my fullback here because i'm like ah oh, you know i can see over here it's just i have a lead blocker going that way and i saw that there was a linebacker that could potentially come free on the right so i just cut this back left and just made it easier on myself so little things like that you, you know you want to take notice of you know also with the stretch run what you want to do sometimes is you want to flip it to the left by taking the right joystick and flicking that to the left that'll flip your run and then you can motion this guy over to motion him over you click B or circle until he gets highlighted and then you would press the d-pad to the left you can motion him over and you want to snap it when he gets about right here so that just gives you some extra blocking on that side and you could take this to the outside we got really bad blocking there by the lineman he should have took that guy out and we should have had a bigger game but we still got a decent gain out of it so this is basically your bread and butter is he here if you have a gap like that, cut it back up the B gap. We're off to the races. I mean, it's the, it's the easiest run in the game. If you're not a very experienced player or have like really good run defense, most people aren't going to be able to stop the stretch dive combo in itself. That in itself, you can run that down people's throats because people don't understand how to play run defense. They don't use the right fronts uh, to stop the run. They don't, I mean, our blocking is just really bad to the left right now, but they don't use the right fronts to stop the run. They don't understand how to, you know, use plays that have good run fits to, you know, clog up the gaps. They don't manually try to stop the run and you can and, you know get four to five yards of play and sometimes get these big gains so now see here again really quickly we'd audible to the iso here because it's just wide open that's all you have to do and you see this time our fullback went right so we went behind him and you see you know we were able to take it for a touchdown some bad pursuit angles but we had you know we weren't even close to being touched for about the first 10 yards very simple inside outside game there so the next most important play out of this the best passing play is for sure uh, the PA tight end leak. Without a doubt, this play is like the go-to when I need to pass out of this formation. And what I do typically is I'm going to streak. Okay, I 
accidentally hiked the ball. Let me just throw this away here, throw a pick. I didn't mean to hike the ball there. I was trying to hot route, not sure what happened. Sometimes the controls this year are weird, like they'll get like stuck. So what I do is I streak the tight end. I take the route that Odell Beckham is on the X receiver and I want to put him on a drag. And then I'll usually block the fullback because I want more blocking, especially this year because a lot of people like to blitz six and seven guys, especially if you're under center. So right here, what you have is like, you have like a mesh post concept, which is very really popular out of shotgun bunch in the West Coast playbook. If you're like, if you watch pro player stream or you, you've played against experienced players, you know about mesh post. And basically it's just, you have a streak, you have that really good short post route that Jarvis Landry's on, and then you have a drag coming underneath as your check down. It's just a very hard concept to defend no matter what defense they're in. So right here, we're in a cover three. Now you can keep the play action or you can you can take the play action off and have him block. I used I usually like to use the play action a good bit because since it's a run heavy formation and we're running the ball a lot, I want them to bite on the run because if they bite on the run, like with a linebacker, a lot of times they get sucked into a block and then they can't recover especially this year with how the linebacker usering is they can't recover to get to that post route so this is what I'm looking to do you could literally just get this over the linebackers head every time or you could wait a little bit longer for him to cross to the other side of the field it just kind of depends you have to kind of make the read on the play but that post route is pretty much going to be something that almost has to be user guarded it's just never going to be defended you see here we wait a little bit longer rat catch it and it's a touchdown nothing's really going to defend that there's some like certain match coverages might defend it at times but it, it's just going to be really hard and then if they do you know catch on to what you're doing and they do go and use that that's when you check it down to the drag you have the drag coming underneath so you check that down and you can see we got a bad animation there still got 10 yards with odell so it that, that play right there alone is just very hard to stop no matter what they do that's cover three i'll switch to cover two just to kind of show you it's just going to do a very good job at, at especially because they have to worry about the run first it's just really, really hard to stop this. You're always going to have a window and zone. You see that? And we're throwing it right where old Thomas is. And he is the best safety in the game. He has the zoned out ability, which means he breaks on the throws much quicker. And he can't even get to the post. It's just certain post routes in the game. This is one of them. It's just, it's that perfect short post that it just gets in areas of the field that it is just almost impossible to cover by any of the AI defenders. It gets underneath safeties, but it gets over the top cloud flats. It gets over the top linebackers. And it just finds those open windows. But Again, if someone was taking that away, again, you check it down to the drag underneath, and I mean, like, you're getting easy, easy yards. It's, it's, it, this is one of the best passing plays in the game, in my opinion. In, in, take the run out of it. Take how good of a running formation this is out of it. This play in itself is just good. Man defense, there's a lot of routes this year that do not cook man defense, but this post route is one of the routes that absolutely does. It gets really good separation, and again, this is Landry, who isn't a bad receiver, not a bad route runner, but he's slow. Like, if I put Odell there, you know, he's going to get even crazier separation. Now, what I typically do in game is, like, I, I want the post route running to the wide side of the field. So, if I had the ball on the right hash like this, then I would I would come out with the play like this. If, if I'm trying to pass, I, I, wanna, I want that post going to the to the wide side of the field. I want it to have more room to get open. If I'm on the left hash, I would, have, I would flip the play and, you know, basically just run it flipped at, at the play call screen if I know I'm on that hash I'm just gonna flip the play if you're in the middle of the field obviously it doesn't really matter right and you can still run the post to the short side of the field but obviously it's just a little bit better when you have that room when, when you're on the wide side of the field it's just gonna you have a little bit more room to work with right so that's the main passing play that I pull out especially when they're expecting run now that those three plays right there the dive the stretch and the PA tight end league that's really like the main part of the scheme for me those three plays right there, you could really run that on most people all game, and they just won't know what to do because most people can't stop the run, and then if you can't stop the run and you put that pass on top of it, they're in trouble. Now, the reason I have, like, double outs and the out and up in my uh, audibles is because a lot of people like to play the, you know, blitz six, play man defense this year, right? That's what people like to do. So double outs is, is a good example. So a lot of people you know online pinch buck oh most popular defense in the game people love to run this every down this does very bad against the run against those stretch runs you can you can literally gash this all day with the run if you're just a decent runner but you need to have some passing plays that could beat it too so there's two different ways people run it some people like to just kind of run it like almost stock but they just press so they get a press on your receivers right so that's why i like this play so what i'll do is i'll actually i'll block the running back or the fullback 
I'll drag the tight end and then I'll put the B receiver on a slant and I'm going to motion the slant over. So it looks like the same as when we're flipping the stretch to the left. That's why you want to make sure that you're running the stretch to the left and flipping it and doing the motion because when you mix this play in, they're going to think you're going to the stretch, but you're going to have multiple routes that are going to destroy man coverage. So you see, we got the blitz coming in, but when it's cover zero, I mean, you're talking about touchdowns. And again, Jarvis Landry is like 89 speed, not very fast. So if you have a faster receiver doing that, that's it's even easier you know for you to get a touchdown on that but let's say you know someone goes and uses it right because you have to account for the user defender so that's where we got the Odell Beckham route you want your better route runner where X is in this formation Odell is going to just create separation here and actually that right there is the best that a cornerback will play Jimmy Smith actually played it very well there and we're still able to get open but typically you're going to create way more separation than that but with the way the rack catching is this year, as long as you rack catch the ball by pressing X or square, you're going to usually get the animation that's going to get the catch. And I accidentally, that time, I meant to throw it to uh, X again. I accidentally pressed B. But Odell Beckham on that route is going to create a lot of separation very consistently. And you have the tight end on the drag, too, who, if you have a fast tight end, he'll usually, you know, get open on the drag as well. But I usually don't look to throw that because these other routes are just going to get much more yard. You see B wide open. You see X. That's the type of separation you normally get. And it's just first downs. And they can't cover both because they're both going in, like, direct. You know, direct opposite, you know, directions. You got Odell Beckham on the left sideline, and you got Landry going to the right sideline. Now, another way people like to run this, and I love when people run it this way: they base a line and then they show blitz. So they're still running man, but you see now they can't press because the men are out wide. If people are running pinch buck O like this, this is when I go to the out and up, and I block the running back, I block the fullback, and you know, you can like you can drag or slant Odell if you want. I usually drag him on this because he has inside position, but what I'm looking for is the B receiver because the B receiver is just going to absolutely fly past any cornerback. And again, this is Landry, not very fast. You just lob it up, rack, catch it, touchdown. And he's slow. He's 89 speed. I'm going to show you Odell now. I'm going to show you how because Odell's a little bit faster. He's in the 90s. So I'm actually going to uh, flip the play and go to the out and up. Same thing. Baseline, show blitz. People like to run this version. There, it, It's a touchdown every time. It's a touchdown every single time. Go to the out and up. Now, watch, watch how much separation Odell is going to get here. I mean, it's just like, it's a good game. Like, it's, it's not, you're not even close. So, and you're going to know when people are running pinch buck O because previous play is on in game. So, if you see them running it a few times in a row, then you just know, okay, this guy just wants to run pinch buck O. So, for whatever reason, if you're having trouble running on it, then you go to one of these two passing plays. If they're pressing you, you want to go to the double outs. If they're doing the baseline show blitz, you want to go to the out and up. So, like, again, I'm going to go out and up, and I'm going to do the baseline show blitz. And because we have our guys in the backfield blocking, there's, like... You know, like the pressure is not going to get in. So let's just say that they they catch on, maybe and they they go user, you know, the the streak, right? Well, that's why you got this stuff, right? That's why you have the other routes. You got Odell wide open, and then the tight end on this play is actually going to create typically a lot of separation if he's a decent route runner. I'm not really sure what Najoku's route running is, but even he should be able to create separation. You can see like he's got pretty good separation right here. He's got he's got enough if you lead that to the left. He should be good. But if you have a, a good tight end there, you know, one of the top five tight ends in the game type guys, he's going to create even more separation. But you really don't need it because at this point right here, you'll know if you want to lob it up or not. If you don't see a user over top, then you lob it up. If not, if, if the user's there, then you, I just check it down to the drag and it's easy money. So that that's basically what I do out of this formation. And I, I don't run this all game just because Oakland's got so much good stuff. I bounce around the playbook. But... There's many people I play that I could just sit in this all game long because just between the run and the PA tight end leak, it's money. And then when, if they try to pull out the pinch buck O type defenses on me, we're just going to beat them up for huge yards all, all game long. And we're going to force them to get out of it. And once they get out of that, you just go back to running it and using the PA tight end leak. And it's just, it's very hard to play a defense for most average online players. It's going to stop all of that stuff. So hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, as always, you know the drill, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.